Welcome. My name is Catherine Clark, and I am the Vice President of Academic Affairs here at Antioch University, New England. It is my pleasure to convene this commencement ceremony. We are here today to celebrate. Are you ready to celebrate? <laughs> Are you sure you're ready to celebrate? It's truly an honor for me to be here today to uh, conduct this celebration and commencement for our 2011 graduates and to welcome their families, loved ones, and friends to our ceremonies. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Bill Graves. Thank you. I bring the warmest of welcomes and especially congratulations from the Board of Governors. Congratulations, of course, to you graduates and also grat uh, gratitude to your families and your friends who helped you get here. Greetings from your campus Board of Trustees. We are proud of you. We are in awe of you and we wish you the very best success as you move forward. Good morning, everyone, and congratulations, graduates. Last year, I was in your shoes. Wow, it was an amazing day and an amazing journey. Take the time to feel all of the emotions that you're feeling right now. Today is your day. And I, I pledge to, to explore and do my best to, to take into, into account the social and environmental consequences of activities I practice and will strive to improve these aspects of my personal life and of any communities, ecosystems, and organizations with which I participate. A few weeks ago, while I was attending a gathering an international gathering of general secretaries of the Anthroposophical Society in Dornach, Switzerland, I heard a presentation by Yugi Agamatsu on the recent earthquake and tsunami in northern Japan. Amidst the many heart-rending descriptions of devastation, there was one story in particular that I want to share with you this morning. A 60-year-old man living in northern Japan had for years wanted to build a bridge to better connect his village with the hillside beyond the river. The story I want to tell you today is my own story of uh, finding my heart, which is an ongoing process. You graduate today with degrees that show that you've got the smarts, but also the very fact that you chose them shows that you have, that you followed your heart into this uh, realm of study and presumably this, wherever that study takes you in, into the, your work in the world. 
Um, but I'm, it's an ongoing study. Plato said that the purpose of life is the tendance of the soul. The, re the refinement, the education, the development of our souls. And he said to do that, we have to learn certain life lessons. Uh, and if you don't learn your lesson, the lesson just keeps getting thrown at you over and over until you get it. Will all of the 2011 candidates for the Masters of Arts degree please rise? President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the master's requirement for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for the degree of Masters of Arts. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree Master of Arts with all the rights honors and privileges pertaining thereto. For the Master of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, Annalisa Elizabeth Anderson. <laughs> Rachel Marie Barber. Jamie Lee Cole. Will all 2011 candidates for the Master of Education degree please rise? <laughs> President Caruso. I have the honor to pre present the individuals who have completed the master's requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for the degree Master of Education. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree Master of Education with all the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. With a Master of Education in Elementary Early Childhood Education, Claire Emily Gallia. <laughs> Jessica W. Kipka. Shannon Donnell McCone. The marshals for the Department of Organization and Management will pre please bring these graduates and finishers to the stage for the presentation. <clears throat> Dr. Bill Griffith. Professor in the Organization and Management Department will present the graduates and finishers of the Department of Organization and Management. These are the candidates for the Master of Business Administration in Organizational and Environmental Sustainability. Maureen M. Aylward. Tori Ann Beadle. Heather McGregor Billings. <laughs> what?
President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the master's requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for a degree, Master of Science. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree Master of Science with all the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. For the degree Master of Science in Environmental Studies with a uh, concentration in Conservation Biology. Amy Vickery Anacario. Rebecca A. Clark. Congratulations. Richard C. Kaus. Good one. <laughs> so with great pleasure, will the 2011 candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Studies please rise. President Caruso, I have the honor to present the individuals who have completed the doctoral requirements for graduation from Antioch University, New England, and are recommended for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Studies. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Studies with all of the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. Will all 2011 candidates for the degree Doctor of Psychology in Clinical Psychology please rise? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Antioch University, and the Board of Trustees of Antioch University, New England, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Psychology in Clinical Psychology with all of the rights, honors, and privileges pertaining thereto. This concludes today's commencement ceremony. Let's just appreciate all of these graduates one more time together. <laughs> <laughs>